If you like Samuel L. Jackson, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. This party's over. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10, Coach Carter, 2005. If you listen and learn, you will win basketball games. And gentlemen, winning in here is the key to winning out there. Coach Carter is a 2005 sports drama film based on the true story of a unique basketball coach. It is directed by Thomas Carter and stars Samuel L. Jackson, Rob Brown, and Channing Tatum. In 1999, after returning to his school in Richmond, California, Ken Carter puts in an effort to build a strong basketball team. By establishing tough rules and academic regulations, he paves the way for his team to put succeed on the court. Carter eventually finds that he has touched them more deeply than he could have ever anticipated. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Number 9. Unbreakable 2000. I saw a news story about a train accident, and I heard them. There is a sole survivor, and he is miraculously unharmed. Unbreakable is a 2000 superhero thriller film written, produced, and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and starring Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, Robin Wright, and Spencer Treat Clark. A man learns something extraordinary about himself after a devastating accident leaves him the sole survivor of 132 passengers. As David wonders what has happened to him and why he was able to walk away, he encounters a mysterious stranger, Elijah Prince, who explains that David is one of the people who are unbreakable and have special superhuman powers. When they start to think things that aren't true, he told me what he thought about your father. It isn't true. I'll show you. Number 8. A Time to Kill, 1996. You think just like them. That's why I picked you. You one of them, don't you see? A Time to Kill is a 1996 crime thriller film directed by Joel Schumacher that stars Matthew McConaughey, Samuel L. Jackson, Kevin Spacey, and Sandra Bullock. After his 10-year-old daughter is raped in Canton, Mississippi by two white racists, Carl takes the law in his hands and murders her culprits. He then faces a trial and urges his attorney friend Jake Tyler to assist him in his legal case. After taking Lee's case, Jake has to fight most of his friends, including his best friend, his secretary, and his wife. You're just like all the rest of them. When you look at me, you don't see a man. You see a black man. Carly, I... I'm your friend. We ain't no friends, Jake. Number seven, Jackie Brown, 1997. I told him you never pick up the money yourself. You always send someone and I never know who it is. Mm. That's a good idea. If you listen, it's a damn good idea. Jackie Brown is a middle-aged stewardess who supplements her income by smuggling for crime kingpin Ordell Robbie. Jackie Brown is a 1997 crime film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino and starring Pam Greer, Samuel L. Jackson, Robert Forster, Michael Keaton, and Robert De Niro. One day, Brown is caught and the agents offer her a deal to arrest Robbie. He, however, is onto the threat and tries to have Brown eliminated. What follows is a dangerous game of bluff, deception, and betrayal. No, our manager gets 15%, agent gets 10, I'm getting 15%, all, all right? All I'm gonna give you is 10. And the same deal as before. Number six, Kingsman, The Secret Service, 2014. As a child, I rather fancied a future as a colorful megalomaniac. What a shame we both had to grow up. Agent Harry Hart from the Kingsman Secret Service is signed up to help troublemaker Gary, the son of an agent who saved Harry and his team 17 years ago. Kingsman The Secret Service is a 2014 action spy comedy film directed and produced by Matthew Vaughn and starring Tara Egerton, Colin Firth, Samuel L. Jackson, and Mark Strong. Harry invites Eggsy to be an upcoming agent in the agency, while the Kingsmen are assigned to investigate Valentine an insane genius of technology who is concocting a deadly plan to save Earth from global warming. Give me a far-fetched theatrical plot any day. <laughs> the old Bond movies. Oh, man. Oh, when I was a kid, that was my dream job. 
Number 5. Captain America, The Winter Soldier, 2014. Why make me head of SHIELD? Because you were the best and the most ruthless person I ever met. I did what I did to protect me. As Steve Rogers struggles to embrace his role in the modern world, he teams up with fellow Avengers to fight a new threat from the past. Captain America, The Winter Soldier is a 2014 superhero film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo and is the sequel to Captain America, The First Avenger. Starring Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, Sebastian Stan, Anthony Mackie, Robert Redford, and Samuel L. Jackson. It follows Steve Rogers as he gets suspicious about S.H.I.E.L.D. and eventually uncovers a truth that promises to change everything. Get me Agent Hill. Communications array damaged. Well, what's not damaged? Air conditioning is fully operational. Number 4. Star Wars Prequel Trilogy, 1999-2005 to Master Wind. How pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. The Star Wars prequel trilogy is a series of epic space opera films written and directed by George Lucas that was released from 1999 to 2005. The story describes what had taken place three decades before the events of Episode IV, A New Hope. They focus on Anakin Skywalker as a Jedi and his mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi. The series shows how the two, now enemies, were once, and the tragedy of Anakin's fall to the dark side of the Force. Find out how the Galactic Republic became the Galactic Empire under Sith Lord Darth Sidious. I must say you're here sooner than expected. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. Number 3. The Hateful Eight, 2015. No one said the job's supposed to be easy. No one said it's supposed to be that hard, neither. During a blizzard, a bounty hunter and his prisoner are forced to seek refuge together in a store out of town. The Hateful Eight is a 2015 Western thriller film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. It stars Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Leigh, Walton Goggins, Demian Bircher, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, and Bruce Stern as eight strangers who all hide out in this one small store. Engulfed in this white hell, the hateful eight must endure each other until the storm weakens, but who is friend and who is foe? Bunch of losers gone loco, you bet I do. Wrapped yourselves up in a rebel flag as an excuse to kill and steal. This ought to interest you, Warren, in particular emancipated blacks. Number 2. Django Unchained, 2012. They're going Take away your name, give you a number and a sledgehammer, and say, get to work. Django Unchained is a 2012 Western film, written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, starring Jamie Foxx, Christoph Waltz, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kerry Washington, and Samuel L. Jackson. In the late 1850s, a German bounty hunter named Dr. King Schultz seeks out a slave named Django and buys him to find and kill some men he is looking for. Afterwards, Django sets out to find and rescue his wife. Schultz offers to help him and their journey takes them to a plantation owned by the ruthless Calvin Candy Von Shaft. I'll lay your palms flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is gonna let loose with both barrels that sawed off. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Four and a half times three is thirteen and a half. Times four is eighteen. Give you three guesses what he did. Ask him. You think there's another bomb? Of course there's another bomb. There's always another bomb. Never say no to a hostage taker. It's in the manual. Now, are, are you going to tell me no again? No, I'm not. No, uh, wrong answer. Eliminate no from your vocabulary, Polly. Never use no, don't, won't, or can't, all right? It eliminates options. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people, see if they could become something more. See if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. Number one, Pulp Fiction, 1994. Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's black. Go on. The lives of two hitmen, a boxer, a gangster and his wife, and a pair of bandits intertwine in four tales of violence and redemption. 
Pulp Fiction is a 1994 crime film written and directed by Quentin Tarantino and stars John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, and Uma Thurman. The movie is widely regarded as Tarantino's masterpiece and won an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. The self-reflexivity, unconventional structure, and extensive homage have prompted critics to call it a touchstone of postmodern film. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it the uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.